How, That's exciting. How did they know? I don't know. Hello, everybody. Hi. How's everybody doing? Wait, how did you guys know to be in here? Did it, I wonder if it, if it, like, because we were trying to go live, because we were, like, taking our thumbnail picture, which you have to do before you can go live, if it tells people, like, they're going live. Maybe. Mm. That's a good, good question. Yeah, very interesting. Um, Hello. Oh, my gosh, you guys. We were kind of worried because it's sort of like in the middle of the day. Um, we didn't know if anybody would be able to come and hang out. So we're so happy to see that you guys are in here. Hello, everybody. I can't read your comments, but I um, we need to put them up on the bigger screen so we can read them. But let's see if I can get really close. It's happening soon. Hello. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We're trying there. really hard. I can't read it. It's too little. Uh, don't worry. It's like we... comments for ants. What is this? Commenting for ants? A theme park pigeon. Theme park? I, I did see that. Oh, no. It says our stream status is bad. It is? I wonder why. I don't know. Can you guys... Do we sound weird? Do we look weird? Are we lagging? Where does it say that? Uh, up at the top. Oh, <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, okay. Now we can read. What was that? Oh, okay. I don't okay. know. Can you read those? Um, stream status is bad, like Michael Jackson. Yeah, who's bad? Dee, 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 stream dee, status. Dee. This stream, live stream, stream is status. bad. <laughs> Sound is great. Oh, good. Okay, cool. Oh, Bethany Johnson is watching from Disneyland Paris. Oh my gosh, that, that was that was in my egg. It said that we were going to go to Disneyland Paris in my egg. Are we there now? No, but I'm just oh. saying. These so, are like little signs. It's a little pixelated. That's what somebody says. Oh, is it? Okay. Ding dang. Well, I don't know. We we do everything like we've got a good internet connection, got a good camera, <laughs> got everything hooked up, but are it's you like. You want to get down? You want to get down? Come here. Oh. I don't well, want to. I want to show. Here's Bandit. He was sitting with us for a little bit, but He's now like, he wants to get down. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. no. He just ran into the light. <laughs> Sorry. Not um, pixelated for me. Okay. Oh, very good. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. Our happy place said, sounds good. Thank you guys. Thank you. How has Bean? Um, he's doing really good right now. He has been sleeping a lot because today was very um, rainy. We had like a oh, yeah. really rainy morning, which I actually slept through. So I don't really even know. Oh, no. Yeah. He was very scared. <laughs> How was it just like, or it wasn't raining? It was raining a lot. Oh, it did rain. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Tony Corrent says, love you guys. Watch every day, bro. Every day, bro. Thank you. No. It's, oh, how it's does it every go? day, bro. Isn't that what I was singing? Um, kind of. Oh. <laughs> You're not a real Jake Pauler. I'm not. <laughs> Me either. Michael Scott says, yay, it's lovely, Tim and Jen. Lots of love from Mike and Tara. Tara Thank you. In the UK. Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. I love your cruise vlogs. Oh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to the cruise vlogs. We like really, really appreciate that you guys yeah. watched them. Um, I know they were long, and I wasn't sure if people would like that. Um, but thank you guys. Ooh, somebody said, which Disney cruise would we consider next? Um, we were seriously considering Alaska. Right, which is where the confusion was. When we did the last video, we said that it was $6,000 for the Disney cruise. For the cruise that we went on. I was like, it was six grand. We found the price for it. But that was the price for an Alaska Disney cruise. Right. So it's like twice as much as a regular cruise, which I guess makes sense. Like. Or does it make sense? I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense or not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, really quick. While we have you guys here, too, we did want to talk about the giveaway. Yeah. So we had a giveaway in our last Disney Cruise vlog where we talked about um, just like the overview and stuff. And our we had our haul and all that. So if you guys have seen that, um, thank you for watching. And thank you for commenting and trying to, uh, what is it called? Win? Enter, yeah. Entering <laughs> the giveaway. Sorry, words. Um, so we did have a winner and we commented back to her comment on that video. And I, I realized that like, it doesn't notify you if somebody comments, like replies to your comment, YouTube doesn't notify you. Right. So she doesn't know to go back to that video. I don't think, which I wouldn't know. Do you see what? your hair right here? It's just like, what? it was sticking out at me. Oh, sorry. My, yeah, my hair's a little <laughs> crazy this morning. Sorry. Um, but and then we we commented on one of her vlogs, like one of her videos, and we were like, hey, you won the giveaway. And I don't think she's seen it because I right. don't think it tells you when you get comments anymore. It does. Well, then maybe she'll see it. 
Yeah, that's what um, sort of what we were waiting for to announce that somebody had won. Yeah, because but... well, because I didn't want to be like Kate won, and then a whole bunch of people are like, "I'm Kate." That's so me. right because mm. YouTube doesn't have you can't private message on YouTube anymore. They took that away. So in the future, long story short, we did have a winner, um, but we need to try to contact her in some way so that we can get her her prizes. If we don't hear from her after I don't know, like a certain amount of time, I guess we'll do the giveaway again. Yeah. I just feel so bad. So what we'll do is um, we will we'll have the giveaway on Instagram or Twitter in the future because those we can private message you on Instagram or Twitter and you can't private message on YouTube anymore. Right. So what do you guys prefer? Is there like one that you prefer more than the other or should we just kind of go back and forth between Twitter and Instagram? Because we have so many things to give away in the future. Right. Like I know we showed you guys in our home vlog the the not the last one, but the one before. Um, there we have a lot of giveaway stuff. We do. Instagram. Everybody's saying Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Instagram. Okay. Cool. And thank you guys so much for um, like talking to me and chatting with me on Instagram. Yeah. I like. I think I like Instagram more than Twitter. Jen really likes Instagram. Well, it just feels nicer. I feel like Twitter is um, where people go to be mean, <laughs> and Instagram is like where people go to be nice. Right. That's true. I don't know. Uh, so we're really far behind on this. Oh, shoot. Sorry, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Sorry. That was my fault. Oh. This <laughs> I have, like, the way that this setup is done is very precarious. And one of our monitors is plugged in through an adapter that's very old. And if I just barely touch the computer, well, the monitor just turns off. And I'm like, good. So good times. Um, when is your next Disney trip? Well, our next Disney World trip. I mean, we live here, so we go to Disney it's World. It's going to be all very time. soon. <laughs> but Disneyland, I don't know. I want to go so bad. We were trying to go for Christmas, and then just everything happened with us moving and all that stuff. So somebody asked if we're a part of the mafia. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Mob wife over here. <laughs> that's, we would totally tell you if we were part of the mafia. Yeah, I mean, aren't you supposed to announce that? That's that's like that's the law. If somebody asks you, if it's you're like in the Fight mafia, Club. Yeah, you totally talk about Fight Club. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in Fight Club and the mafia. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's definitely. Um, I feel like there is already a Disney mafia. Don't they have the social clubs? Yeah. Is there one called the Disney Mafia? Oh, I don't know. It was a big mm. to-do where one social club was like roughing up another social club. Really? Yeah. At Disney? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Don't, Something to don't do with do like that. don't don't fight with people. Ex-wives and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it was it was a, a long, complicated story, but there was like a whole it was like an article in the OC register about it. That feels like that's a slow news day. Yeah. Um, the Jets versus the Sharks. Yeah. Don't you have to like <laughs> tie your wrists together and then like Oh, yeah, you have to, like, have a knife fight. Don't do that either. <laughs> uh, I'm Oswald from the Netherlands. Thank you. True Choi Boy. Tr tr what is this? True Choi Story. Yeah. Hey, friendos. Love your vlogs. By the way, this live stream isn't showing up in oh, my subs. Oh, no. That's so weird. Okay. That's good to why. know. All right. We keep touching. We got we to gotta figure out our setup here because every time we touch this computer, which is where we're looking at the super chat comments, then this computer, there's like, we'll have to show you the setup and we'll do that in the home vlog today. We're filming a yeah. home vlog today. So we should film like the comments like we used to. Yeah, we will okay. at the end of it. Sorry, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Casey Cole. Oh wait, Megan said that she got notified for it. Oh. So, hi Seth. Casey Cole says you guys should come to Jacksonville. We have to fly into Macho Man Randy Savage Airport. We just started watching The Good Place, which, by the way, if you don't watch The Good Place, watch it. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Beth said that she was notified, too. What oh, time a is whole it bunch in of Orlando? Were good. It's new Hi, Eric. Orlando. Um, yeah. So it watch good. it. Sorry. I'm, like, trying to read the comments and remember what I was talking about. You're but, talking yes, about watch The Good Place. It's so good. So, so good. You won't be able to stop watching it. Oh, everybody says they love the good place. We're behind. We're like always the last person to do the trend. Yeah. Like the, well, we're caught up now. Now we are. I feel like we missed an episode. No, we watched it. Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was the one where they were at the uh, interdimensional house of pancakes. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, somebody was asking if you're going to do a Pokemon Go video at Disney World at the theme parks. Maybe. I didn't think that Pokemon Go, I thought I was the only person that plays Pokemon Go anymore. A lot of people still play it. Yeah. So maybe I will. 
ATV Studio says Jeanette McCurdy mentions you in her new video. Yes. We saw that. I, I couldn't believe it. Her. Yeah. I was like in shock. I mean, that just really goes to show you that you never know who's watching your videos. Yeah. And like she was so nice. Yeah. I don't it was so insane. Well, I if couldn't you're believe watching, it. Jeanette, hi. Yeah, like holy cow. Um, wow. <laughs> Somebody wants me to go do dive quest at Epcot. What's that? The... It's where you go diving at the living seas or what's it called now? The seas with Nemo. Yeah. Um, and the only problem with that is I can't take a camera in with me, but Jen could sit outside and like film me watching, which I would film do me diving. Yeah. We'll have to look, we'll have to look into that. Uh, um, happy 30th birthday to Jade. Happy birthday. Hi Riley. Christopher Miller says, hello from Ohio. Please come back to Ohio and go to Kings Island and Cedar Point, which we want to do. Yeah. Definitely want to. Uh, Brian Sprung, good morning. Watching from Daytona. Crazy lightning this morning and last yeah. night. Keep up the awesome video, guys. Hope to see you in the <clears> parks. <throat> it definitely was. It was intense this morning. And then we got a uh, super chat from Fifth Rider, who um, think he comments on like every single video. And thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Um, was at Walt Disney World for the last two weeks. Yeah, I was reading your comments where you were talking about all the cool stuff you were doing. I didn't run into you, but I love the cruise vids. Still have no questions, and I'm still bad with money. <laughs> Here's my dollars. Thank you. Thank you. And we're glad That's that so you funny. had a good time at the parks, too. It sounded like you were getting a lot done on your trip, which is really cool. So uh, are you guys originally from Florida? Yes. Born yeah, and raised. Yeah, yeah. Hello from Massachusetts. I left a meeting to watch this. Oh no, Chris, don't get fired. Are you allowed to do that? What if he's the boss and he's like, meeting over? <laughs> wow, Chris, I like it. <laughs> New watcher. Well, hello, sweetie. Amanda says, love you all and my daughter does too. Could you shout out to Hannah and Emma? Hi, we'll Hannah at, and Emma. They'll be at Disney in May. Ooh, May's a good time. May is a good time. Hello from Vermont. Hello from Chicago, Illinois. It's crazy that like, um, because the time zones, right? What's what's uh, Illinois' time oh, zone? One hour ahead of us. Oh, okay. so they're I like, it was very far it's, away. It's eleven. <laughs> okay. Uh, but somebody said that they were watching from Turkey. I left my operating table to watch this. Oh no! <laughs> but he was just like, uh, spoiler alert! It was Operation the Game. Yeah. Yeah. We, the we Homer Simpson version. <laughs> yeah. So wait, yeah, somebody's watching from Turkey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. Coral Springs, Brazil. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you guys. It's 5 p.m. here. In the UK. Time zones are so weird. Yeah. Like, they're not. They make sense. But also, do they? Question. <laughs> so, time zones. Yeah. How do the flat earth people explain time zones? I'm sure they have some weird excuse for it. Okay. Because the, the moon is a hologram and the sun is a hologram, right? Isn't that what they say? So, like, they can just kind of, like, move it. Maybe. Yeah. Somebody said they were watching from Japan. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to say anything to them in Japanese? I don't know. I can't remember everything that I learned. Oh. Tatakimasu. Oh. That's all I remember. Isn't that, like, we're ready to eat now? Yeah. I hope <laughs> you're, maybe you're eating. <laughs> um. Daniela says, just wanted to say thank you. You inspired me to take my twins on a cruise. We're going oh. on the Disney Wonder in November. That's exciting. That's going to be good. Yeah, I feel like I, I would like to go on one of the bigger ships. And the Wonder's a bigger one, right? Yeah. yeah. Somebody says, any upcoming trips? Nothing. Do a video where you see who's watching your videos. How do That's you kind of this, How do it? you see that? Like, how do you see who's watching your videos? I don't know. I'm just like knock on doors. Like, what are you watching YouTube right now? Excuse is me, it, sir. Is it the Tim Dragger? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't mind me. Uh, are you watching me right <laughs> now? Um, hi to Lily. Somebody said the magic's the same as the wonder. Is I it? thought the magic was the smallest. Oh, really? Wait, what's the dream is the big one then? Yeah, there's two. There's only four. There's two new ones and two older ones. And I thought that once they made the dream, we were on the dream, right? We were on the magic. On the Once they made the magic, they're like, oh, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So. Oh, no. Have a good day at work, Christy. Uh, Chris <laughs> Peters. Oh, no. Oh, fantasy. It was the dream and the fantasy. Those are the two other ones. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Sometimes when I barely move the mouse, it, like, jumps down to the bottom. Uh, Chris Peters says, how about some Tim Tracker branded Tervis tumblers? Who's with me? 
How do you do that? I don't know. I had a hard enough time. So I Oh yeah. I made this, right? We well you didn't. Pop well, socket made Pop it. Pop sockets made it. Yeah. And it says take me to a theme park and the oh no, it just came off. Here it is. It broke. Oh no. It didn't yeah, it's you supposed can't, to pop off. But you can't uh buy a pop socket unless you're like a big company. Like I we couldn't sell our pop sockets with our logo. Right. So then when I he went to go make one for my phone that had like not this logo, but the one like our logo, that's our logo with the um our two heads and then the dogs. Yeah. And then they were like they contacted Tim and they were like, sorry, we can't make this. We don't own the rights to the Tim Tracker logo. And he's like, I'm the Tim Tracker. And they're like, <laughs> like can if you, you just can make prove it? Prove that to us somehow. And I was like, How do you do that? You just wave at them. It's so weird. So um I don't know if we'll be able to get that that pop socket, but they made this one and this is our logo. Yeah. So but this is like so I think what they do is they just like search the whatever I send them. They like Google search it. Yeah. And you, if you Google search this specific version of the logo, you can't find it anywhere because it's mm -hmm. not it's not on a shirt. Gotcha. Well, so. so yeah. So we were trying to get our logo on Pop Sockets because I figured it would be cool to have on the back of my phone, but they won't do it. What the? Heck? <laughs> uh, Spencer says, "What's your all's favorite water park in the United States?" We haven't been to very many, so we've as of only right been now, to Florida ones, right? Yeah, it's Typhoon Lagoon. I love Typhoon Lagoon, but I also really do like Volcano Bay. But yeah. I can ride more at Typhoon Lagoon. Right. Volcano Bay's rides are a little bit more thrilling, mm -hmm. which I'm not totally into for like a water ride. I don't know, but it's so beautiful. It like is. every, it's just very pretty. Um, uh, Nadia says, "Love from the love you from the Netherlands. We went to Tokyo Disneyland because of you, and we loved it so much. Hope to oh, hope to hope to once meet you guys. Aww. Uh yeah, Tokyo Disneyland is amazing. It's so awesome. Yeah, somebody's watching us from Guadalajara. Wow. Oh man, Kings Island in the summer. We definitely want to um, get back out there. I don't know when that'll happen, but I would like for it to happen. Oh yeah. Um, Luke Martin. Hey y'all." Love your videos. Haven't been to Disney World in years and I miss it so much. Enjoy seeing Disney through your videos. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Um, our happy place says when they're there. There were problems with YouTube with notifications yesterday. Not sure oh, if it's all worked out. I don't know. That's a good question. I hope so. Oh, the Carter family from the UK. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Greetings from Belgium. Um, Get Binky says, Dole Whip on us the next time you go to Disney. Oh, no worries. That's definitely not something that you guys have to do, but we do appreciate it. Um, thank you for coming and hanging out and watching the live stream. We appreciate yeah. it, you guys. I'll be back in Tokyo. Oh, Disney. Disney It Girl. I don't have my glasses on. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Um, back in Tokyo in eight weeks. If you need advice when you go, reach out to me, Disney It Girl on YouTube, on Instagram. I binge watch your last trip a lot. Yeah. Um, I think the what something that we really like is not knowing. Right. I really enjoy like I know a lot of people use YouTube to kind of plan their trips and know what to do and what not to do. And I think one of my favorite things is like to not know. Right. Like we we didn't look at Kings Island before we went. Um, we didn't look at Tokyo Disneyland before we went. I just wanted to like see everything with like fresh eyes. Right. And not be expecting anything. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. So I, I definitely, I don't research at all. Which, which is, I don't know if we should bad. recommend that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't recommend but it. It is, it does make for a more exciting trip. It does. Yeah. But it's, um, I feel like it just, it, for us anyway, because we're kind of like filming it too, mm -hmm. it's more exciting when we're surprised, I guess. Yeah. And just like in real life, like it's more exciting to be surprised. Yeah. I think. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, but we hope you have an awesome time. Yeah. Uh, love the vlogs from oh, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, yeah, so I am going to be uploading on my channel again. I just saw a comment. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name, but I am going to be uploading on my channel again. I just was trying to figure out like how to make the time to edit for both channels. Right. It's a lot. Yeah. So. Oh, that's something we should say is anytime that you see me at the parks by myself mm -hmm. and Jen's not there, she's back home editing yesterday's video. I'm probably, yeah, I'm still trying to get the video up for the day. Um, so ding dang. Yeah. Uh, had any hot dogs lately? Yes. <laughs> the last hot dog you had was on the cruise. Yeah. I had one. It was good. Nick's Blackhawks talk. It was great when you guys post a video. Thanks for making a day positive. And yes, the good place <laughs> is good. It is good. It really is good. Amanda Garrison. Hey, love you guys. Stay amazingly wonderful and hope to see you guys at the park soon. Thank you so much. 
Um, ooh, Jen does it as a fave. I'm glad that you guys like those. I only made a couple of videos and I, I didn't really know if people would watch them. <laughs> so I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to start like trying again. Maybe I'll edit one to, or upload one today or not upload. Sorry. Maybe I'll film one today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody said, would we ever go on a European cruise? I think, okay. So when we were at Castaway Key, we were um, sitting next to the, these two girls that I think worked on the ship and yeah. they were kind of talking about their, like their trips, their cruises that they had been on. And one of the ones that they said that was their favorite was a European one. Or yeah. was it Mediterranean? Uh, it was, they were talking about like Norway and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so it sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do that. And, and, we, I, and I think you're closer to land. Yeah. Cause you're just, it's like a river cruise. almost. Yeah. Yeah. I would do that. Yeah. Me too. Somebody wants to see me in a speedo. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> One time he wore a speedo to high school. I did. Um, Mr. P93 says, you obviously liked your Disney cruise. Would you consider cruising with a different company? We cruised yeah. to and back to Alaska on our 25th. Got wonderful pics of the Northern Lights. Ooh, that's That's cool. pretty neat. I didn't think that you'd be able to see the Northern Lights because I was looking at the cruising itineraries and they for Alaska and they kind of like just barely, like Alaska's here and they like stop here and then go back down to Canada. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Dang. So I didn't think that you would make it far enough north to see the Northern Lights. When is your next trip? Are you considering going to Sweden one day? Yeah, actually, we looked at the Disney advent. What is it? Adventures, Adventures by, by Disney. Disney yeah. And that was one of the ones we looked at. Which those are extremely expensive. But from what I hear, they're really good. Somebody asked if we could do a video on how we started, like how we started our channel. Um, and what you can do is you can go to the playlist that's called Watch Us From The Beginning, mm -hmm. and you can see how exa like exactly how we started. Yeah. It wasn't great. No. <laughs> Unless you're asking, like, how to specifically start a channel, oh. and that I don't know how to do anymore because no, it's so they hard. changed it. Yeah. Uh, Brian uh, Dialman, thank you so much. Kelly and Son, Kelly, Son, and Serenity... What are you guys looking forward to most at the parks as far as new construction, Star Wars Land, et cetera? By the way, love these vlogs and you guys. Thank you. I'm excited for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah, me too. So we've been watching all of the the shorts, the yeah. Mickey shorts, and they're so good. They really are good. Yeah. A lot of people don't like the way that they're drawn, but they are amazing. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it really is like a throwback to like 90s animation. Mm -hmm. So I think it's cool. Yeah. Sorry. That's it. Ah, oh, crazy Pokemon 101. Ooh. Thank you so much. That's so you can buy some cool outfits for your Pokemon guy. Yeah. Yeah. For my trainer. Yeah. Uh, Molly Wood, thank you so much. Oh, no, it went. You want to read one of those over there? I have to get back oh, up dang, to where yeah. we were. Um, please shout out. Ah. Oh, dear. Potato land. Potato <laughs> land. Potato <laughs> land. Would you ever bring back the stash? So every time that we meet somebody, they ask that. Every single person that we meet, they're like, well, we just thought about the mustache. Will it make a comeback? And like, it's there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. I just, I don't know. It's sort of there, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I like the beard better. It's just easier. Yeah. I don't know. Is this? I like the facial. Like, I like your beard. Me too. I think it's cute. Also, he has kind of like a little chin. So the beard sort of makes it look more like, I have a real chin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Angela says, happy 13th birthday to my daughter, Kara. We love you guys. Happy birthday, Kara. Happy birthday. Uh, let's see here. Go with a goatee. Oh. Mm. Be a Everybody cool guy. saying potato land? Yes. Very dapper. What's your favorite vine? Ooh. My favorite vine is the... A potato flew around my room. <laughs> That's my favorite one. That is a good one. It's very memorable. Actually, my I have two favorites. My other favorite is the kid who, who touches the... It's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. Who touches the... um? It, what's it called? The, I keep wanting to oh, say the extension high tension cord. power lines? <laughs> and they go, oh, he did. Well, no. Well, I just... It's very like... That one got me when I watched it the first time. Got but him I, too. I love the potato. The, a potato flew around my room. My <laughs> road work ahead. I hope so. Well, I should <laughs> hope so. Um, oh, yeah. We've gotten a lot of questions about doing a an update tour of Caribbean Beach. So I think we'll do that soon. Yes. 
Um, Tyler and Ryan said, favorite blog you've made? Favorite blog we've made? I think like Tokyo Disneyland and stuff like that. Yeah, and like the cruise. I mean, like there are so many. Our first trip to Disneyland, I think, was a really good one. Our When we went to Ireland and when we got married, that mm -hmm. was a really cool trip. That was before we really knew what we were doing. Right. Um, but yeah, I think any of those trips, like just experiencing something for the first time together, I think are some of my favorite videos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian says, are you guys going to Mardi Gras opening night for Bush? I don't think we'll go to the concert. But yeah. Do you think we'll go to the concert? No, no, I was agreeing with you. I don't think we'll go to the concert. We've never stayed for the concerts. I've always been like walking by in the background, like looking at it. Yeah. You know what happened? We did go to one concert at uh, Universal and that was for... Oh, Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner. And they <laughs> hit us with a copyright because of it. Yeah. So we were like, eh, we probably won't be able to show any of these really. Yeah. What's the theme park pigeon doing? I haven't seen him in a while. I feel like it's too cold for him right now. He's, he's flown south for the winter. Yeah. He's having a, a Caribbean vacation. Ooh. <laughs> Will you ever go on a Disney cruise ever again? Probably, yes. yeah. Would I would you, like to. Would you go to Disneyland Paris? Yeah, we definitely want to. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to Brennan. Uh, Jared says, love the vlogs. The wife and I will be at Disneyland for the first time this year, and we'll be using your videos as a guide. We also wanted to make it to WDW, but we're going to wait for Galaxy's Edge. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, There's, I would wait for the new stuff. It's going to be just like crazy busy. Yeah. But I would wait for the new stuff. I want to say hi to Leah or Lee and Paisley. I think that's what it said. It went away. Oh, no. Sorry. What's the temperature in Florida right now? 69. Oh, they were asking if we're going to finish the Adventures Around World Showcase. Yes. So I think that's maybe that's the stuff that we'll start working on um, next week mm -hmm. is is that those kind of videos. Yeah. Yeah. Molly Woods says, I will be at Magic Kingdom on Saturday taking my best friend who's been who's never been at 25 years old. Do you have any times to make it a great day for him? I think they mean tips. Oh. Hope we get to see you guys soon. Somebody that's never been for the first time. I mean, ask them what they want to do. Like, I think that that's one of the things that I think a lot of people forget when they're like, oh, we should go here. We should go here. We should go here. Right. The person that's never been like, what do they like? Well, I would make sure they see the new parade. Yeah. The new move it, shake it. Mouse, Mouse could dance it. it. It was very cute. I liked like even just editing it. It was very cute. Um, I would say maybe get like a Mickey bar, yeah. get like a, or like a Dole Whip, maybe get like a, an iconic treat so that they can try that. Um, maybe like a Mickey pretzel. Um, mm. I would say like, take a picture in front of the castle. Cause you're going to wish you had that later probably. Right. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe see like what kind of rides they want to ride. The people mover is a good one to take people on. Cause you can kind of see a little bit of the park. Yeah. I specifically like fireworks, so I would suggest you stick around and watch the fireworks. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I know a lot of people don't like fireworks, and not, not everybody likes fireworks. Right, yeah. Uh, can you? Rebecca says, can you say hi to my dog, Stella? Hi, hi Stella. Stella. I was going to say. <laughs> That's from Bandit. <laughs> Will you guys be at any of the Dapper Days? No, I won't be. Um, probably not. It's very hot. It's hot and it's like so crowded and everybody is just, I don't know. It's too much. It's way too much. Ooh, happily ever after or wishes. Happily, happily ever, ever after. after. Wishes was so good and it was so, um, it very like nostalgic and it's mm. like your childhood, but it was outdated, you know? And it was also like kind of slowly paced. Yeah. Especially compared to happily ever after. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Marcus says, hello from Colorado Springs. I work nights and you guys are my guilty pleasure during my downtown downtime. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for making those nights bearable. Thank you. We appreciate that. Melissa said, I'm going um, in May. Will you be at the park? Um, we have no idea what our schedule is going to be like in May. I, have, I don't, I'm not sure. Right. Um, but if we are at the park and you guys happen to see us, definitely say hi. That is something that we like, you know, we like to see you guys. So, um, but we hope you have an awesome time. Somebody said, uh, any idea on when the podcast is going to start? And I think today, maybe we yeah. might, we have to get a table. Yeah. So, okay. Our car is very little. I know maybe some of you guys might know, but we have like a teeny tiny car and it's a hatchback too. So like big stuff like the tables, I don't know how we're going to transport it. And the table that we want is big. 
Yeah. So it's it's not gigantic. It's awkwardly shaped, though. Yeah. So yeah. So we're we're like working on it. But I guess we don't have to have a table to have a podcast. Like we could sit right here and do our first podcast. Right. So I don't know. But we we talked about it last night. What would we talk about um in our first one? And we actually even recorded one already and we let a couple of our friends listen to it. Yeah. But and they seem to like it. Yeah. But it, I don't know. I don't think I would release that first one. I think right. I would like to start over. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, my favorite word is awesome. I need to be like a thesaurus. Uh what's something that I say all the time is stuff like that. What, and stuff like that. What else should I say? Awesome, amazing, stupendous, this, fantabulous. They, they sound weird. Oh, no. um, oh, so Jay Tucker asks why we say, and now it's time to pay the price. And we actually have a whole video about it. So if you search, um, now it's time to pay the price in the Tim Tracker, that video will come up and we answer it for you. Um, yeah, we'll definitely go to Flower and Garden this year. Willy nilly. nilly. <laughs> what trips do you have planned oh, for 2019? Somebody said they can't hear us. Can you hear us? Oh, no. We don't have any trips planned for 2019. No, we didn't plan our year at all. Have nothing planned. Yeah. Uh, Josh says, I can't get down to Universal as much as I want to, so your videos help keep me up with the park. Hope to see you in the parks the next time I'm down. Yeah. I mean, Universal is amazing, and I love going. Yeah. And we're glad to help out with showing you guys what's going on. <laughs> they said they can hear us, so that's good. Um, Somebody was asking if we're going to go to Volcano Bay, and like with me, like if I'm going to get to go, um, and I would like to do that. The last time that we went, I did go. Yeah. But um, I think that's only the second time I've been. Yeah. And it's closed for the next like five days. Where did you learn to make and produce these vids? Um, Tim just is smart, like with technology stuff, I feel like. I don't know. I, I am constantly learning stuff. He's just really, he. this is like his hobby though, is right. like, like buying this stuff, the lights, the production stuff, like making it better yeah. like this kind of stuff like that's just what he likes to do what is that oh somebody it's we'll get to it oh okay well we should probably how many are we really behind? we're half an hour behind oh my gosh well, we gotta answer these i've been doing it okay sorry you guys i think this is what is the reason why we don't do live shows is because this happens where we get so many super chats and so many regular um comments and it's hard to balance them yeah and i think i get overwhelmed and i get like panicky that's okay. Everything's a okay. Well, I don't want to make anybody mad. Well, somebody's gonna be mad no matter what. Well, I know, but I'm just it's saying sort of the it. Way that it is. <laughs> I'm just saying this makes me like very anxious. I don't like it. I feel like if I could give anybody one bit of advice about the internet, it's that somebody's gonna be mad no yeah. matter what you do. No, I mean I know, I know that. Sorry. I know that. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows that, it's me. Like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Joseph says we love you guys. We watch every night. Disneyland early November? Question mark. We'll be there. It'll be our first Disneyland vlog, first vlog actually. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be there in November. Like no. we said, we don't have any trips planned. I think our first trip that we ever did though was um, was in November. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good time to go. Amber says, hi from snowy Wyoming. Thank you, Taylor. What happened? She said, I'm doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing great, sweaty. <laughs> Thank you. Hi from snowy Wyoming. My one-year-old son and I love watching your videos. Can you shout out to Ollie? Shout out to Ollie. Is that the one-year-old? Hi, Hi, Ollie. Ollie. Uh, hope to see you in November at the parks. Jennifer says, love you guys. You inspired me to vlog my Disney trips. Very cool. I like that. I like that people like go out and they're like, you guys inspired me to start vlogging. Well, and it's such a neat thing to... Um to have those memories. Yeah. Like I know we say that a lot and, and you have photos and you have things in your like little snippets in your phone and stuff, but like to have the full day yeah. is, is really cool to look back on. So I'm glad that you're doing that and you can look back at all your fun that you had. Any tips for a new universe or a new Disney annual pass holder? Um, you definitely always ask if you can get your annual pass holder discount because they oh, don't yeah. at Disneyland. They're really good. Like, do you have an annual they pass? But they don't even give it to you at Disney world. Some places they do. Like one place, yeah. one property will give you your discount, which stinks. Yeah. But um, but you do get cool stuff. Like we got a cool mailer that told us stuff that we didn't realize was happening at the park. So make sure you read those. Um, yeah. Yeah. And there's always like new snacks and treats and stuff. There's always so, a magnet for you to get too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when you go to uh, like there's also clo like clothing merch that you mm -hmm. can only buy as a pass holder yeah. and stuff like that. So make sure you look out for that kind of stuff. Uh, where was I? Bethany says, hi, please shout out to m me and my boyfriend, Ewan. 
just booked dining for illuminations in May. Ooh. It's sad that part of my childhood is going to change. But here's what I think. Because after Wishes went away, everybody was really sad, but then Happily Ever After came and it was like, wow, this is so great. Yeah. So I feel like whatever is going to be replacing illuminations will be just as good or better. Right. And hopefully it'll make us feel the same way that Illuminations does. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. And they've started doing this weird thing where they're kind of cutting back on fireworks during Illumination. Really? Yeah, which is stinks, but we're hoping that it's to like pave the way for the new fireworks show. Like it's not going to have as many fireworks? Well, like they're doing construction out in the middle of the lagoon, so maybe they're like can't set off fireworks from oh. this location because there's like heavy gotcha. equipment out there. I don't know. Spokesman, he just says hello. Hi. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Aaron says hello, and RT, R2D2 says hello too. Hello. Oh, yeah. And hey. we met R2D2 at Otronicon. Yeah, and Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, no, we don't have a P.O. box yet. We uh, had to close it just because we were getting, we still have mail that we need to open from you guys. Um, I don't, which we need to do that video soon too. Sorry, somebody said, do we have any plans on going to Maine? Yeah. <laughs> to do some shark watching? Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, I don't know when we'll open the P.O. box back up. I don't know if it'll be the same um, P.O. box or anything like that. But we will let you guys know when we decide what we're going to do. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, John says, if you guys could choose only one annual pass to renew out of all the parks, which would you choose and why? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to kick you guys. <laughs> I would choose Disney because there's there's so many parks. Yeah, I would choose Disney as well. And it it kind of probably because of our uh, history with Disney, as far as like we've been here our whole lives and we've gone to Disney for longer than we've gone to any of the other parks. Yeah, but I think there's just, with there being four parks, two water parks, mm -hmm. like I, you're getting more from that pass. Yeah. Not, I'm not talking about price wise, but just what you can actually get into. Right. Yeah. Sweet. So you'd have more to do. Uh. What's your opinion on profanity? <laughs> What's your profanity? <laughs> uh, um, oh, okay. So we talked about the giveaway earlier in the live show, but we did have a winner. Um, it was Kate. And we commented to her comment on uh, what the giveaway video. And then she didn't see it. So then we commented on one of her vlogs just to let her know, like, hey, you won. And she still hasn't seen it. So we're trying to figure it out. Like, yeah. hopefully she comments back and we can get her her giveaway prize. But if we don't hear from her, um, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. We'll let you guys know. We'll keep keep going. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys do the dining plan? We don't know. We've never done it before. We haven't. Um, because we don't stay, we, like we live here. Um, so we're not like, we're not buying a vacation package or anything like that. But I think maybe we will try it. Can you just buy like one day of the dining plan? If you're staying at the resort, yeah. Oh, so you have to stay at a resort. Okay. Yeah. Um, if we can try it, we will. Rudieri I Ryan? I don't know. That's a it's an interesting word. Mm -hmm. Uh thanks for the videos. Just wanted to give a little back and say thanks. Going to Orlando for the third time in May. Can't wait. Love from England. Thank you. You're gonna have an awesome time. May's a good time to come. Yeah. Uh, Noah said, first time annual pass buyer, do you suggest Disney or Universal? Um, and we just kind of answered that. I would say Disney, just because there's more to do. You're getting not. You're, it's not just three parks; it's six parks. Right. So that's what I would say. Catherine says, "Don't do the dining plan." Don't. Well, oh, no. A, a lot of people say that um, you get sick of the food because it, it's that like we the same should, thing. We should do it because we've never done it. So I, mean, I want to try it just so we can uh, talk about it with you guys and give our opinions on it. But I don't know that we would like do it normally. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. I don't know. Um, can you do a resort tour soon? And I think we are going to do the updated Caribbean beach and the other one, Riviera. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Riviera just announced its pricing, which is, is it really high? Wow. It's just below Grand Floridian. Why? I don't know. Is it a deluxe? It is more expensive than, um, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Is it a deluxe? I guess so. Oh, it's a, it's a DVC. That doesn't mean anything. I know. <laughs> That's. I don't know if they're like labeling it as a deluxe. That's weird. Um, Rod Hernandez said, hello from Texas. Could you please do a shout out to my wife, Brenda Solano? We love you guys. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And Carrie Fanti uh, said, I always watch, rarely comment, but you both earn inspiration. 
thank you so much. That's really sweet. Um, wow, thank you. That's really nice. Uh, geriatric giraffe old timer. Thank you so much. I love your <laughs> username. It's very fun. Oh, geez. Okay. Go Did over do it there. again? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you excited for Star Wars Land to open? I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan. I'm like not not a fan, but I'm not like a fan. Um, and I'm excited for it. So I know that people who are big time Star Wars fans are going to go just nuts over it. Uh, now I now must go on a Disney cruise. It was really good. It was. Yeah. And we um, we said earlier in the live show, we were looking at doing another one. We want to try the Alaska one. Yeah. Uh, Alyssa says, glad I finally caught a live stream. I always end up watching them later. Hope to run with you guys when I take my kids in September. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you for watching them though. We we really appreciate that. Yeah. Any plans on a Disney tattoo? I don't know. So we got this painting from our friends um, a few, like I think maybe even a year ago. Yeah. Um, and they painted a Mickey, like a Mickey head on oh, your yeah. arm. And I always was like, you should get that tattoo. Yeah. Like it's in the painting. It is in the painting. <laughs> uh, Valdez Brown says, love your videos. I'm starting my own channel with Cedar Fair Parks. Any tips, recommended equipment? I think the best bet is to start with um, just your phone. Yeah. Before you buy um, really expensive equipment, because everything, it just gets pricey. Like it all adds up. I would say make sure it's something you really want to do. Use your phone. Yeah. Um, use the free editing software. But then also we do have, we list everything that we use in the description. Um, if you want to check it out, you can kind of see everything that goes into what, what, uh, what our videos. Yeah. Yeah. And also I'm going to do a video now that I kind of have uh, an idea of what would make good like vacation cameras for somebody to buy to take on vacation. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to make a video kind of comparing them. Oh. Let's just give you guys an idea of what would be a good thing if you're like looking for a camera to take on vacation with you. Yeah. So. Sorry, somebody said they are, uh, Peg said, hello from Minnesota. Wind chills are negative 20 today. Oh my goodness. Peg, come to Florida. You should be here. That sounds like yeah, no fun. I couldn't do it. Um, Vulpix Vulpix says, hey guys, love your di videos in Disney. Your cruise helped me so much. Taking my daughter to on a Disney cruise for her 10th birthday in December, yeah. then going to Disney Tokyo next year. Ooh, that's that awesome. Amazing. Yeah, you're gonna have an amazing time. Film my vacation on a GoPro oh. Hero 4. Yeah, Kirky, that was Kirky, hi. Uh, what was your favorite meal on the cruise? I think it was the Palo meal. Yeah, mine was, mine was Palo too. Yeah. It was good. And I'm, I've been brushing up on my table side manners to like learn how to cut meat correctly. Everybody was like, whoa, how did yeah. you cut your meat like that? <laughs> I'm a Neanderthal. Oh, who was your favorite character to meet on the cruise? So my favorite character to meet on the cruise was Goofy. He was so awesome. That was such an awesome meet and greet. Yeah. Um, I think it's cool when characters, because like we're adults, you know, like we're old. We're not like a kid who is, you know would be very amazed by a character yeah. We're adults. We know what's going on. So it was neat when, uh, when characters kind of like make it less awkward, right? Like when they're into it, when they're like trying to, do you know what I mean? Am I making, yeah. does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I just thought that he made for like such a good interaction. It was really cool. Hi, I'm Japanese and I love your YouTube. Wow. Thank you. Konnichiwa. Bye Haley. Uh, <laughs> oh, JJ said you're not old. Um, I just mean like relatively. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're not children. We're not like five. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's all. Uh, Hi, no, Melissa. No clue. Nine nine eight says we watch your videos every Sunday. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Thank you. Tim, do you still play bass? Uh, I haven't in a while. Sarah asked if we had any plans to go to the Snow White meal. Um, and we actually had yesterday, we had a reservation yesterday and then we had to cancel it and we rescheduled it. Yeah. So we are going, we were supposed to go yesterday and we're sorry we didn't go. Um, but somebody said, you're not five. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I am at heart. I'm five at heart. Um, uh, but yeah, but we'll go to the storybook dining soon. Rebecca says, what does your tagline at the end of your videos mean? Basically like rate, comment, subscribe without yeah. saying rate, comment, subscribe. We're, it's saying smash that like button, baby. Yeah. But turn on that bell. Yeah. Notify all your peeps that a video is up. Get out a bullhorn and say the Tim Tracker <laughs> uploaded a video. <laughs> but like in a less weird way. <laughs> mm, more weird. Have you ever done the Crayola experience? 
that was our highest viewed video for all of 2018. Yeah. How crazy. Like, I didn't think people would care about the Crayola experience. Well, yeah. I just didn't think, I didn't know that it was that big of a deal. Kids love it. They loved it. Matthew K says, my son and I hope to see you guys at D23 this year. That's something I've been batting back and forth a lot is whether to go to D23 or not. Mm. Where is uh, it? It's at the convention center, Anaheim oh, convention over here, center. Over here. Bandit. No, 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 you can't no, fit no, through no. there. It's not. It's like a labyrinth. You got to come this way. Come this way. Bandit. Well, uh, come here. over here. Baby boy. He's he's trying to get around. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Did he figure it out? Yeah, he did it. You figured it out. <laughs> oh, you little stinky boy. Now he's leaving. Bye. Bye. Where's he going? Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> okay. Well, he didn't like the live show. Uh, Emily says, about three. Thanks for all you guys do. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. <laughs> Don't soil your britches, Bandito. Oh. Yeah, please don't do not do that, Bandito. Bandit? Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't have to. He, we took him out just before we started, so he's good. He's just restless. <laughs> oh, Kirky said we need to talk about the Jeanette situation. It's true. I couldn't believe it. What? About Jeanette McCurdy. Oh, yeah. I know. I thought you were talking about Janet from The Good Place. Maybe he was. Kirky, who are you talking about? I got to know. I would love to see that camera vid. Oh, Eric. Okay, yeah. So um, our friend Eric Neal, who's in the chat, you guys, he wants to see the camera vid. Okay, we I have it planned. It. Yeah. Want to bring 50 cameras with me to the theme park? <laughs> and I'm going to be like, hello. Don't mind me. Does Bandit still get angry if you make kissing noises? Um, He doesn't anymore. I think he's matured a little bit in his old age. Maybe. Yeah. He's just succumbed to it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fine. How are you liking your new place? We love it. It's so nice to have like a room that's just our our filming room and what? Sorry, no, go ahead. Oh, um, and a room that's like just the office and we're not kind of like all crammed together with everything and you know, in one space, it's nice. Yeah. Uh, Bart said, Janet from Three's Company. <laughs> Janet from Rocky Horror. <laughs> Come on, I got our door. <laughs> Hitmon Aaron says, hey, Tim and Jen, my girlfriend Tara and I really enjoy your videos every day. Thank you. Is it Tara or Tara? Could be. Uh, thank you for all your hard work. Also, Tara and I need to know, have you ever eaten at Dixie Dharma? I've never heard of that. In Orlando. What is it? Never heard of it. Don't answer in the super chat, though. Answer in the regular chat. What is it? Who is she? Yeah, we got to look. We got to find it. Somebody asked if we watched the Fire Festival a documentary. Yes. We watched them both. We did. Yeah. And, and I did, I read the Slash film article about one of them because one of them, a little bit shady because- Was it the one on Hulu? Yeah. Yeah. The, no, no, it was the other one. The Netflix one? The one that had the guy. Yeah, that's the Hulu one. That's the Hulu one? The one with Billy McFarlane? Yeah. Where he was like sitting in that dark room, like in, in all black and like the yeah. black background. Yeah. Because they paid him. Well, of course they paid him. Like $100,000. He wouldn't do it for free. Why would he? Well, they shouldn't have done it then. He is a scam artist. That's true. Like, that's what you do. Like, he would be like, I'll do it for a hundred thousand. They want to have the better. They're trying to get to their doc. Fair, wait, wait, wait. Say... They're trying to get their documentary out before Netflix's. Right. They're, tr they're being sneaky. And then they're trying to have the better one with the actual. They're like, this one actually has the guy in it. Right. Come on. Come on it's the and better he didn't one. didn't say anything in it. No. And apparently he asked for 250 beforehand. Of course he did. Like, He's a scam artist. <laughs> pretty intense, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. We should, I want to do a podcast on just that. It makes me so angry. Oh, no. He uh, totally is the most sketchy person. It was so gross. And even Jaw Rule, watching Jaw Rule, and I used to really like Jaw Rule because they would play him <laughs> at the Men in Black. Like they would play the, what would I be without that baby? baby. <laughs> like we used to really like that song, right? Just for fun. Yeah. But then they showed the way that he was talking to those girls too. Yeah, he's a when, creep. When he was like, oh, yeah, just follow me in the water. And they're like, no, like, we're not getting paid for this. Like, this isn't part of the job. Yeah. I made me so angry. Oh, <laughs> okay. The end. Sorry. Uh, Hotter says, <laughs> next visit to a park. Can you check if they do full sugar vanilla cola, please? Oh, wait, what? Like Is that a... the, the um, butterbeer? No, I think they're just talking about, like, instead of Coke Zero with vanilla... I agree with you, Allison. Total jerk. Who? Which one? All of All them? All of them. Yes. Notice how there weren't... Well, okay. I won't say that. I was going to say how it was all guys, but I don't think it was. I think there were... Because that one lady, the investor. 
Oh yeah. Who, who was her problem? She uh, who has she so was much being money, scammed. But who has so much money that they're just like, yeah, I'll give you five hundred thousand dollars to make a fake credit card. What what was wrong with you? I'll give you five hundred. And she went to the island. She saw the island. Yeah. She saw how it was not ready and how it was totally a scam and how like they were lying. And yeah. she was like, here's more. Here's more money. That's crazy. What are you gonna do? Okay, sorry. I'm so mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kent Abner, thank you so much. Steven says, I actually found you guys because of researching Disney, decided whether or not to get an annual pass, or deciding whether or not mm. to give an annual pass. I have now been a pass holder for five years. Wow. 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 <laughs> Disney needs to have a caffeine-free soda without oh, no. being diet. Well, they have Sprite. Oh, sorry, right? somebody told me I needed a cool down. Oh, no. I just, Ja Rule really gets me angry, I guess. What would I do without <laughs> my baby? Um, you are cool guys. Oh, well, somebody found you. out that they're going to Florida. Nice. Hi to Spain. How do you become a pass holder? You <laughs> go to the park and you say, here's a lot of money. And yeah. And I think they just upped the price again. They're supposed to up it in February. So, oh, Dixie Dharma. Oh, I missed it. Oh, did they say it? Dang, oh, they crap. said it. Will you say it again? I'm we'll sorry. look it up. We can look oh, yeah, it up. Yeah, we can. I'm sorry. We, we totally can look it up. Um, <laughs> um, King Cal says, what is both of your favorite parks? Oh, I, I think that mine would have to be, I think it's a tie for me between Animal Kingdom at Disney and Magic Kingdom at Disney. Yeah. Because I do love Animal Kingdom. But I really, really love Magic Kingdom too. It's good. It's yeah. not as fun when it's super crowded, but well, when you can get in no. there when it's not crowded, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Celia asked if we have a podcast, and we don't. We filmed one podcast episode a couple years ago, so we don't technically have a podcast, but we're starting one. Yeah, we have all the equipment, and we just need to do it. We have all the all the stuff in our noodles too. We have all of the brains. <laughs> oh, okay. Dixie Dharma is a vegan restaurant in Orlando. Oh, okay, cool. We'll have to check it out. Yeah. Uh, did I do this? Oh, yeah. Where Ryan says, just engaged at Magic Kingdom to fiance Danielle. Congratulations, Ryan Congratulations. and Danielle. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's that one that you were asking about. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you. You didn't have to send us a super chat. You got engaged. Yeah. Aw. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Yeah. Somebody said, "Can you? How can you read the live chat? It's difficult, but it is difficult." Um, petition for Jeanette McCurdy on the podcast. I think that that's something that um, I would never ever want to do. That, like, I would never want to bug somebody. Like, yeah. I'm just happy that they watch the video. Like, that's just cool to know that they watch the videos. I would never want to be like, hey, "Hey, let's hang out now." I don't know. I just feel like I would. I wouldn't want to do that. Somebody said, what was the rant about? Because they missed it. It was about Fire Festival. Oh, yeah. It was about Fire Festival and Jaw Rule and Billy McFarland. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing intense. No no tea. No, no tea. It's crazy. I, right now, we're actually like, everything's good. There is no drama, I don't think. Well, there's always drama. But but not in like, I don't know. Everybody's being cool with us. So I'm happy about that. Uh, Keenan Jones says, you guys ever thought about coming to Halloween in the UK? I can recommend Alton Towers by yeah. Anne Bias since I have acted there for the past three years. That's awesome. Oh, I would love to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It would um, be amazing. Have you ever done the SeaWorld all day dining? We have, um, and it was a really good deal. It was 20 bucks oh, at yeah. the time. I don't know how much it is now, but we got, it was $20. And then we got our discount, like our annual pass discount on top of that. And then we could eat for free. Well, for free. We could all eat all we could eat yeah. all day for, I think it was $17. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And we had like ribs and, I mean, we had all the good stuff. Yeah. So. And it's a, oh, Haleo <laughs> vlog, please. Yes. I'm sorry. I just read Bart and Jen. There's no drama. Twitter, hold my beer. Right. That's true. I should knock on wood. <laughs> uh, somebody wants to know if we're going to do a Haleo video. Yeah. And we will as soon as it opens or sometime. Somehow I ended up on that, that list yeah. for the media people for Haleo. I didn't ever like ask to be on it. It was just one day emails just started showing up and I was like, oh. Hello there. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So now we got all the inside track on Haleo. Uh, it's ta oh Addison says it's tax time. Are your annual passes a write off? Yeah. 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 It's like a subscription. But it's not like you don't get um, 
you don't get like that much money taken off of your taxes. It's not like they take, well, how much are annual passes? Like $1,500? Yeah. Yeah. They don't like take that off of your taxes. Right. It's just the amount that would be taxed. Right. Which is like a dollar. (laughs) Right. So, um, but it is nice. Every little bit helps. So. Uh, Keith Schultz says, hi from Cincinnati, Ohio. I hope to see you at HHN 29. Yeah, me too. We will be there. It's going to be exciting. SeaWorld Daily Dining is $40 now. Wow. So it's really gone up. But still, I feel like that might be that. Yeah. Good. It depends on how big your party is, though, because the way somebody left a comment about the cruise, which I I didn't think about this um, because we don't have kids and it's just the two of us. They said 3000 might not be a lot to you guys, but like with five children, that's it's too expensive to do a Disney cruise. And I it's you're a right. weird, a weird scale, though, because 3000 is base price for two people. Mm-hmm. And then each additional person is like it's not if you have two more people, it's not an additional three thousand dollars. OK, it's like an additional five hundred per person. It was still, though, that could be. Yeah. too much for somebody to spend on like a five day vacation. Right. So um, include and then that doesn't include however they have to get there, whether it's like flights or, you know, driving, whatever right. it is. So it's, um, I don't know. It's something that we definitely don't think about it in that like perspective. Cause it's just the two of us. Right. So for two people, these vacations that we take and, and stuff are, are cheapish. Right. It's just two of us. Right. Yeah. Uh, Gina A says, I'm obsessed with Mickey ears. My favorite one is the rose gold. Jen, what are your favorite ears? Uh, ooh, my favorite ears? That's hard. Honestly, I would probably think that my Marie ears were my favorite ears. I don't know. Those are good ones. I really love them. Because they're not like traditional ear. You know, they're not mouse ears, but they are like that style. Um, and those are from Modern Mouse Boutique. They're really cool. Hi to Yannicka. Hi. Or Yannicka? I might be pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. But hello. Uh, Sean McIntyre says, I heard you guys could be going to D23. I got so excited. Hope to see you guys there. Love watching your videos. Maybe. Maybe. Nothing nothing set in stone. Ooh, Disney Squad said, we're staying at Caribbean Beach next week. Any advice? We love you. Can't wait to watch your vlogs in the evening. Um, Ooh, yeah. Thank you, by the way, for watching. We appreciate it. Advice Uh, for Caribbean Beach. Caribbean Beach is gigantic. Yeah. That's the one thing that I will say about Caribbean Beach. And I don't know, like, sometimes, so here's what happened to us. We went there and we met some friends and they're like, all right, let's get on the bus. And there were two buses right next to each other. One was packed full Mm -hmm. and one was completely empty. And we're like, well, we're going to get on the empty bus. Right. That empty bus was making its first stop going around the resort oh yeah and the full bus was on its last stop and headed to the parks so we had another like 20 minutes of stopping and picking people up whereas the other people just went straight to the park so if we had just gotten into the full bus we would have been there quicker yeah yeah so Um, and it is it is a big resort so make sure if you have like a a day maybe like an off day or downtime walk around the resort and check it out yeah because there's some cool spots with um hammocks like near the beach yeah. Um, I don't know. It's like a cool, a cool resort. Shout out to Samantha and John. Oh, a lot of you guys are asking if we found out who wrote subscribe to the Tim tracker at, um, uh, festival of the arts. Yeah. I couldn't remember what it's called for a second. We never found out. Somebody said, I think that they wrote their name next to it. It said Brooke. Brooke. So it might've been Brooke. Maybe it was Brooke. Yeah. Uh, Shelby says, Jen, you've made me a We've Got Ears addict. Oh, yeah. She's great. Um, sh- Her stuff is so awesome. And I really, really like that she tests everything in the heat, which yeah. is something that um, you know it's good quality. It's not going to fall apart. And not that I've had that issue with with other um, ear vendors or whatever, but hers are just really, really well made. And then have you seen her um, her Navi ones? They're so cool. Like she just oh, has, they glow in the dark, right? No, they're like they're like woven. They're oh. like here, let me show you really quick. I can pull it right up. But they're um they're so cool. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, whoa, how do you guys do this? Uh look. Oh wait, right here. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, they're like legit. And they send them in the boxes too, like the ace or right, ace? Yeah, ace. Look. That's amazing. Yeah. So um I would for sure check out um Emily over at We've Got Ears. They are just super creative, really well made. Uh, Heather Vale says, shout out to my daughter, Emily. She and I earned our first stripe 
on our white belts last night. Wow. And thank you for convincing my husband to go on a cruise. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Nice Karate work. Shop. You guys did great. Excellent. Yeah, that's really cool. Um. Oh. <laughs> what? Something about Grover at SeaWorld. I missed that. Somebody told me that Grover was purple today. Grover's not purple. Grover's blue. Yeah. With a red nose. Yeah. Right? I think. I Pink thought so. nose? Mm, pinkish yes. red. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Are we native Floridians? Yes. Aww. Shout out to Megan on her 17th birthday on Tuesday. Hi, Paul. I just saw your um your comment about Duncan. I think sorry, it went by really quickly. So I hope I got that right. Um, but I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. And oh. I know that they are just playing up in doggy heaven together. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know how much it sucks. Chase Kleehammer says, love watching your amazing videos. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Christy Hildebrand says, we watch you daily as a family. Shout out to our boys. Traven and Corbin would make their day. Oh, shout out to Traven and Corbin. Hi, you guys. Hope to see you on our <clears throat> annual trip in July. Blue with pink nose is Grover. Yeah. Will you be filming a diabetic friendly foods at the parks video? Yeah. Um, we actually got a lot of questions about diabetic friendly foods when we did our vegan one. So we'll definitely do that. I need to do a lot more research on diabetes. I know. Yeah. I think what it is, is it's because we aren't, that's not something that we actively need to like seek out. Um, so we don't want to do it wrong. We would hate to get something wrong, especially because it has to do with like your health. Right. You know, like I'd hate to say, oh, this is diabetic friendly. And then it maybe isn't. Right. So we just really, really have to figure it out first. Um, when's the next Disney vid? Um, hopefully sometime soon. Definitely. Yeah. Jake Frazier says, when are you guys headed back to Tokyo? A I good question. Soon. I really want to go back. I'd go tomorrow if I could. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, it's just difficult with bandit. Yeah. He needs a dog sitter and everything. Alexandra McChesney is, I'm getting married in May in 2020. Would you like to come vlog it? Um, we definitely appreciate that. And we are so excited for you. That sounds really, really fun. Um, but I, I don't know what our schedule will be like then. So I'd hate to commit to something that we can't do. But we hope you have a fantastic day. The best day ever. Uh, Dark Zon Gaming says, love you guys, Epcot or Magic Kingdom 4th of July fireworks? Ooh, that's hard. We have videos on both. Here's what you can do. Magic Kingdom does 4th of July fireworks on July 3rd. Mm -hmm. Epcot only does them on July 4th. Right. So you go Magic Kingdom July 3rd, Epcot July 4th. Yeah. Best of both worlds. There you go. Ah, sorry. Shout out. Ah! <laughs> Kristen says... Please send a shout out to my daughter, Sophia. We love your videos and we watch every day. They're helping us with our trip in 2020. Hi, Sophia. Hello. Yeah, you guys have an awesome trip in 2020. We know you will. Come to a vlog from St. Augustine. We did. Yeah, we've done that. We, I want to go back, though. It's definitely good. <laughs> Nate Major says, hi from Utah. Staying at the Aventura in May. Do you think the new Harry Potter coaster will be done at IOA? Hope to see you guys down there. In May? In May? Probably not. Maybe. Do you think? I was just saying maybe because oh. it's in May. <laughs> I would say probably not. Yeah. That seems like pretty soon. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty far along. I, I get, huh? Yeah, that's true. I'd be excited if it were open in May. Um, our happy place said, no worries. You guys are great. Thank, Thank you, you guys again. Stephanie. Stephanie. Did, uh, did you... No, you wouldn't. You two are good at keeping secrets. LOL. Congrats on your recent success and all future endeavors. We love you. Thank you. I don't know what that was in regards to because it was very, that's an older one. If we were in the CIA or no, if we were in the mafia, maybe oh. we wouldn't tell anybody because we're good at keeping secrets. <laughs> Somebody says they miss spectro, spectro magic. Aww. JB Productions 152 says, did you ever ride the original 20,000 leagues under the sea? Yes. I did. I don't remember it. I do. It was yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, Todd Tinker says, I'm planning a trip to WDW this year and was wondering what your favorite moderate resort is and why. I don't know. We haven't stated enough of the resorts to give a like an educated decision on this, but yeah. we did stay at Port Orleans, uh, Riverside, nice. yeah. not Riverside, French Quarter. Yeah, French Quarter. And it was good. It was. It was nice. The, the property is nice. The boats were nice. Yeah. Um, 
but I don't know if that's where you'd want to stay. Right. That's hard. I would say maybe watch the resort tour videos and see which resort you like best. And then maybe seek out the room tour videos for those resorts and yeah. see if that's where you'd like to stay. Um, that's just what I would do. But Krista Joe says, hi, any plans to continue the what's life really like as vloggers videos? You mentioned the next <laughs> topic being how your friendships are affected by being vloggers. So that was something that we were going to do in the podcast. Yeah. But we had originally talked about doing that in the podcast. And I would like to do that because I feel like it's everybody's a vlogger now. You know, yeah. like everybody has a channel. Everybody is Instagram live or like everybody is blogging or blogging in some way. Like social media is just so huge and it's such a part of our lives. Right. So I, I think what I would like to do is just talk about how it's affected us maybe negatively and positively. Yeah. You know, like everything's a competition and that can sometimes um, be bad for friendships, right. you know, and that stinks that YouTube is kind of viewed that way as a competition between everybody. I don't feel like it is, but I know that that's how it can be seen from a social media standpoint. Right. So I think that's where we, um, I don't know, just wanted to kind of give our insights of things that have happened to us specifically, but yeah. like not go into detail about the other people. You know what I mean? Right. Cause it's not about that. It's more so about, like a learning type thing. Yeah, yeah. Like how we reacted and kind of like overcame things. Right. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we definitely do want to continue to do that. But I think it'll be in a podcast form. And then somebody said, well, it'll be a video podcast. Yes. Yeah, that's why we need to get the table. <laughs> so, right. um, yeah. Uh, Eric says, love your videos. My family just bought annual passes for Disney for the first time. We're from Ohio and planning on going four to five times this year. Nice. My son Trevor loves your videos and thinks it's hilarious when you say we on your POV <laughs> rides. Well, thank you so much. That's and awesome. Hello, Trevor. You guys are going to have an awesome time. Uh, Gary Samuels said, hello from Arizona. Thanks for the awesome vlogs. Come and visit our state sometime. We have first watch. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I would love to go to Arizona. Um. You a girl says, we love you guys. Thank you for family friendly videos. Our whole family can enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Somebody wants to know what our Halloween costumes are for 2019. I don't know yet, but I think you should be the guy from, from the Incredibles thing, the news reporter. Oh yeah. You have pants that color. I was thinking about being one eyed Pete or whatever. Oh his name yeah. Was. The potato guy. The potato, Mr. Potato <laughs> head as a robber. Um, uh, Gabby. Uh, Gabby said, what park tickets would be best for a week trip for a family of three to Disney World? I love you guys. That That's a is, good question. Here's what I would say. Um, because we live here and yeah. we we just go off of an annual pass. Um, I've never really done the research on what tickets are a better option. Like vacation package tickets. We don't know. Yeah. And I think it all becomes a, a matter of like breaking it down into per day. Like if yeah. you're definitely going to be able to go four days is the magic your way ticket a good plan or mm -hmm. is like is there a breaking point where at like five days it's better to do a seasonal annual pass because you're going to be here during this specific season even though there are blackout days right i think it's there are so many variables that just are based on your family the time you're coming other events around the park other hard ticket events and things like yeah. that i would not like to answer that question wrong Right. I would hate to give you the wrong information. So I would just say do your research as far as your um, specifics of your trip. Yeah. And yeah. like cost breakdowns. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry we couldn't help you with that though. D. Willett says, please wish Megan a happy birthday. She turned 17 on Tuesday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Megan. Megan. Wow. 17. Uh, I 3D printed Epcot mini ears that change color. Wow. That's, that's kind of awesome. cool. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Chris Johnson. Ooh, Haley said, you've inspired my four-year-old niece to vlog when she's older. Say hi to Amelia. Hi, hi Amelia. Amelia. That's really cute. And that's just goes back to saying like, everybody's a vlogger now. It's yeah. such a big part of our lives. It's really um, like shocking how it's become so normal. Yeah. Like it's cool. When I was younger, I was like, I want to be a construction worker when I grow up. And yeah. kids now are like, I want to be a YouTuber. Yeah, it's so funny. It's funny. Somebody wants to know, what hotel do you stay at for HHN? We've kind of stayed at various ones, depending on which HHN. Last year, we stayed at Hard Rock. The year before, we stayed at Portofino. I think my favorite stay was at Hard Rock. And it was the most expensive stay. But it's it's just right there. You just walk right into the park. It was also our loudest stay. Yeah, it was loud. That's yeah. true. Yeah, it was loud. But that wasn't because of 
that was because the hotel was doing work. No, they're the people next to us. We could hear them. Oh, clear that's right. as day that's through right. the wall. Where were we at that they were doing work on the room next to us? It was there too. Yeah, they were like drilling something. Yeah, yeah that's right. It was terrible because we had been up all night. Yeah, but and it then was like at 7 a.m. the next day after Horror Nights, they're like, Wah. Yeah, and we're just like, hey, could you let us know? Like, this is weird. Um, But I still think that if it weren't so loud, if, if it were quieter, it would have been the best day because it was so convenient. Yeah. You're just like right there. If you can specifically ask for a room that does not have another room attached to it, because we yeah. found that that's where the most noise came through was the doors. The adjoining doors, yeah. Uh, Rebecca says, can I get a shout out to kids Christopher and Beatrix? Uh, we are going to Disney in March and they are hoping to run into you. Love your videos. So, okay, somebody in the, and I totally missed the name. So please comment again so I can credit you because you came up with a good name. They said our podcast should be the Tim Chatter. Oh, yeah. somebody said the Tim Talker too. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. It's a good question. But hey, uh, shout out to Christopher and Beatrix. You want to do the next one? Oh, um, Ash Hanshu said, I just got back from my wedding on a cruise ship last weekend. It was so nice to come home to all your cruise videos. Congratulations. Um, congratulations. That's cool. Yeah, a, a wedding on a cruise sounds like it would be pretty awesome. Um, Scott Spivey says, my wife and daughter and myself love watching. My daughter Willow is two, and she loves your voice, Tim, and your smile, Jen. Favorite non-pop Disney film, like non-popular Disney film? Oh, that's a good question. Um, but thank you, Willow. We appreciate yeah. that. I would say non-popular Disney film. I don't know. I think maybe Meet the Robinsons. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like nobody ever talked about that movie after it came out. I forgot about that one. That one was good. Yeah, it was a sad one. I liked it. Yeah. Um, somebody asked about something, and now I forget what it was. I'm sorry. Okay, well, Emily says, Hello, I watch your videos every day, and they never fail to bring a smile to my face. Ooh, she starts DCP in a week. Oh. Leaving Minnesota soon. Any tips for dealing with Orlando traffic? Don't don't you don't have to move it. Okay. Yeah. Um I no, I don't know. Yeah. Tips for Orlando traffic. If you're DCP, they're gonna bust you over, aren't they? Well, not necessarily. You can drive still. Can you? Yeah, you can have your car. I don't know why I thought you like lived right behind the gates. No, you live on the other side of I-4. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Um I, it should be okay for you with a short distance to the parks, but if you're going to get on I-4, I don't know. It's scary. I-4 is really crazy right now because you can't see the lines in the road. They're building all these like 10 story overpasses that are really scary. I do not want to drive on them. They yeah. look so tall. Um, I don't know. I would just say yeah. don't drive on I-4. Right. Like if you, if you can't, if you can skip driving on I-4, I would do that. Even if it takes you like much longer. Right. Just don't drive on I-4. Don't, don't. Okay. I'm sorry. It's like a thing that I have to do. I, you don't have to do it though. And that's why it keeps going up to the top. Okay. I'm sorry. I know where I am right here. Okay. Sorry. Um, Mark Haygood said, thanks for y'all's hard work. Watch you every day after work going this weekend to Walt Disney World. Hope to run into you. T-shirt idea. We really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's I like true. That. That's funny. Well, what am I supposed to say? We're so grateful to you. I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's just so easy to say I appreciate it because I do appreciate it. Uh, um, but thank you for the shirt idea. <laughs> Goodly Gal says, How often do you go to Disney World if you couldn't? How often would you go to Disney World if you couldn't film? I mean, we do go and we don't film. Yeah. That is something that we do. Um, and it's, I, I think we would do it exactly as much as we do it now. Yeah. I don't know. We go pretty often. Well, and we like to see the new stuff. So. Like, I know we're sharing it with you guys, but we we did, like, we would probably do it anyway. Yeah. Just because, I don't know. Yeah. I want to eat all the new Disney food, you know? Right. <laughs> um, Chris Johnston, it said, you two need to come to Electroland in Disneyland Paris. The queues are short. The music is awesome. Use the Eurostar Direct from London. Hashtag tour guide. Oh. I like that. That sounds like fun. What's Electro? That's the elect, like the EDM festival that they have at Disneyland. It's not, so. a, it's not a festival, but it's like an EDM party. I think so. Hmm. They used to have one at Disneyland in California that was based around the Mad Tea Party. Oh yeah, but I think this is different. I think so too. Like this but... is a big thing. Yeah. I don't. I would go. It sounds really cool. Um, Jesse Bolson says your videos are my travel guide to Disney World. Such a huge help after Thanksgiving. Oh, and after Thanksgiving, hope to see you there. Nice. Cool. Thank you. We really appreciate that you guys watch the videos at all. Thank you for watching them. 
<laughs> What's the best hidden gem in Orlando? That's a good question. I feel like I just lean towards food there and I'm like Four Rivers. Yeah, I would say like really hidden. Four Rivers, the German restaurant. Oh, yeah. Um it's it's in Orlando, but it's like kind of not in Orlando proper, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty far. But it's if you can go, I would go. Oh yeah. Um it's in Sanford, it's called the Willow Tree, and it's delicious. That's the German restaurant. Yeah. Um another one, like Hawkers is really good, but that's Hawkers a is good. It's a franchise, so you might be able to have that. Oh, the Tim Caster. Oh, the Tim Caster. That's a good name too. That is good. Um, it's, a, it's about me fishing. Oh no, my chat isn't moving. It's stuck there. Oh no, oh. I'm sorry. Have you ever been to the Daytona 500? No, but we want to go. Somebody invited us to come one time um, and we we didn't go. It was the... I don't remember. Yeah, but, it, but, but yeah, it, it looks cool, but also looks like um, repetitive. I oh yeah, know. I don't know. I've never been, so I don't know. Don't hate me. Um, and then, oh, K Fitz says, "Hey guys, I'm heading down in March for my boyfriend's first Disney trip. I've been loads, but wondering if you have any first time tips for him." Um, uh, uh, like we said before, definitely ask him what he is interested in doing. Yeah, and maybe he doesn't want to see the fireworks. Maybe he does. I think fireworks would be a good one though. Um, like we said, riding the people mover is good because you can kind of get an idea of the park on there. Uh, maybe see what the new snack is and oh, yeah. maybe get like a, a Mickey bar or um, a Dole Whip or something like that. I would do, I would probably try to ride the mountains like the iconic rides. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like take a picture down main street, get your picture in front of the castle, you know, yeah, like all the, all the stuff you do. Yeah. <laughs> Just I think that's those are the things that I would start with. Uh who is your father and what does he do? <laughs> Look at my elbow. <laughs> um TX me said planning to come to Walt Disney World next year in February. Is the weather good in February? My partner and I love watching you guys. Yes. Right now it's 72 degrees outside. Yeah. But and we did have a rainstorm this morning, so it could be could be rainy. Yeah. And it, it might change depending on you know, like the year. Yeah. Because last January is cold. This year, this January is hot. Yeah. Everything is changing all the time, I feel like, with weather. So I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not sure. Uh, Crazy Pokemon 101 says, my, fi my fiance and I love you guys. We watch you guys all the time. We got engaged in Epcot last year and we're going there in December for our, or September for our honeymoon. Congratulations. Yeah. And thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. Scott Robertson said Dixie Dharma owned the vegan hot dog stand. Oh, oh, it's really good. Glad you enjoyed the cruise. We went over the fantasy for our honeymoon in October. Dang. That that's... vegan hot dog yeah. stand is my youth. We will definitely check it out. Um, and congratulations on getting married and having your honeymoon on the cruise. That sounds amazing. Oh, man. JJ King says it's negative four there right now. Wow. Holy cow. That's scary. That's too cold. Please say hi to Chloe and Laura. Hi, Chloe and Laura. Uh, <laughs> Origami Star says both Firefest docs had sketchy deets. Check the YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Check what? Who's YouTube? Uh, anybody's. Okay. I guess I'm doing it. I, I imagine that they would be kind of sketchy though, because they were both put on by the people who put on the event. Yeah. So I imagine they're not going to tell you everything, and they're going to blame everything on Billy. Right. Which I'm sure Billy was like the main thing, the main bad guy. But it, you have to ask yourself, like, why people didn't walk away. That's what kept, see, that's what made me so mad about it is like, you know that they're doing bad stuff. It is very obvious that they are doing bad stuff. Right. Why continue to work with them? But then the one guy was like, well, I wasn't going to get paid for any of the work that I did until the end. Right. So he's like, I can't walk away. I'd be walking away from this money. But like, you're not going to get your money anyway. Right. But he didn't know that. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I could talk about it forever. <laughs> uh, when is the UK Pavilion Tour due? At some point soon. Yeah. That's the next one on the list. That's the one that I'm, I'm most excited for um, just to see, because I know a lot of you guys are excited about it. Yeah. And I want to see like all the things. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking at? Uh, the time. What time is it? One twelve. Oh, wow. Uh, Laura says, please give a shout out to my sister, Rachel. We watch you guys from the UK. Love and appreciate everything you do. And we always discuss your videos, even when we're away at different unis. I love that. Stop That's doing awesome. That. I have to. No, you don't. You just look at it here and it won't move up like how it was moving up on you. I know, but I have a weird uh, 
OCD. I know, but you don't, you really don't. I'll put my finger here. Okay. Brian Dealman says, are you guys planning on going to Mardi Gras opening night? Oh, somebody asked us this already. Um, and I don't, I don't know if we'll stay for the concert. Right. But we might be there for opening night. Right. But we never stay for the concerts. It's always so crowded. Um, Nick Vandelier said, my fiance and I love you guys. We hope to see you in the parks next week when we are there for our Disney wedding. Oh, congratulations. Uh, oh my gosh. Keep up the great work. You guys, congratulations. So many of you guys are having Disney weddings. Yeah. Ma, I like that. Uh, do you do the press pennies? No, but I try to show them as much as possible. And maybe we can um, we can do a tour of them one day. Yeah. Because I know some people are really into it. Uh, Ooh, any plans for a Puerto Rico trip? So a bunch of vloggers went on sponsored trips to Puerto Rico um, recently, like a lot, a whole bunch of them. And I was just like, what the heck? This looks beautiful. Yeah. Like, I want to go, go there. Yeah, it looks amazing. Like those sponsored trips, they work. Because I watched them and I was like, I would like to fly a drone in Puerto Rico. Yeah. I would like to be in the Puerto Rican beautiful blue water. I would like to eat the food. Me too. It worked. <laughs> uh, Nick Van Leer says my... Oh, we already said I, that yeah. one. Ro Roberto Torres says, are you excited for Kingdom Hearts 3? We haven't played any of the Kingdom Hearts. But so... I know you guys are very excited for it. Yeah. So that's exciting. Um, but no, we're not really... We're not really gamers. No. Dang. I'm more <laughs> of a puzzler. Yeah, we love puzzles. Stephanie Sierra, oh, are you going to do it? Go ahead. Stephanie Sierra said, hey, Tim and Jen, going to Tokyo in 17 days. Wondering if you had any advice for the parks. Don't be nervous. Try all the popcorn. Try all the food. Make sure you look at every single gift shop. They're, uh, one thing that I've noticed is they're not really keen on people taking photographs inside of the rides. Yeah. Um, and if you have a camera, they don't like it for you to hold it above your face level. Yeah. Yeah. Always be like respectful of the people behind you. Also, you have to take your ears off. Yeah. During um, parades and stuff like that. During parades, during rides where you're sitting, uh, and somebody is in front of or behind you. Um, there it, it's very, uh, oh yeah. And make sure that you grab a map or a mat to sit on during the parade. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to love it though. Uh, can I get a shout out to my wife, Kira? She loves all your videos and the Disney outlet videos are her favorite. Oh yeah. Makes us so excited for her upcoming trip. Hi Kira. Shout out to Kira. Yeah, I hope you guys get to go to the outlet and get all kinds of cool stuff for super cheap. Uh, you the, will. the Tim Puzzler. <laughs> um, uh, Brian Crandell. Oh. oh, is that the one you asked? Yeah. Allison. See, you need to have it swiped up. No, I don't. Allison said, I love watching your channel. Thank you so much, Allison. We are so very grateful. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you. No, we can't say that <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Morgan said, we've been watching you every day. I love your Around the World Showcase. We'll be there on Valentine's Day. Is there anything special to do in Epcot? No. I think special characters are out on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I think they wear like, like they're together. Oh. I think the characters come out as couples. But not at Epcot. How do you know? Because I think that's only at Magic Kingdom. Are you sure? No, I'm not 100% sure, but I am learning, like thinking back to previous Valentine's days. Here's the thing. We don't know much. Right. <laughs> That's why we go to the park every day, because we don't know anything. We're just trying to learn. Um, but I think that somewhere they take the pick, they come out as couples. Yeah. Which you can meet Mickey and Minnie together at Magic Kingdom now for their birthday. But I'm talking about for, they're going to be at a just like saying. <laughs> okay. In addition, <laughs> uh, Catherine says, greetings from Norway. We met Tim last year in line for Thunder Mountain. Next time we want to say, and now it's time to pay the price. Yeah, just let me know. Just say, Tim, I'd like to say the outro. Um, Geriatric Giraffe Old Timer said, Geriatric Giraffe is my game app. Oh. oh, cool. Okay. Did you guys do a video of your favorite deluxe resort and why trying to pick a place to stay in March? We've never stayed. We like, I think that's one thing is we don't stay at the resorts. Right. We've, we've done tours of all of them. Yeah, but we've never stayed. The idea is to give you guys as much information as you can without saying like, do this one. Yeah. And I think, I think a lot of people are quick to say, oh, you should go here because that's what they like. Right. And that's what worked for them. But we don't know your situation. We don't know if you have kids, how many kids, if you're with your parents, you're, you know, right. who, it, we don't have all of the info. So we'd hate to make the wrong choice for you. Right. If you're going to get a parking lot view or if you're yeah, going like, to get a view of the park. Or, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. 
So I would watch the resort tours and see which one kind of speaks to you. And then maybe see if you can find a room tour video and see, you know, kind of go from there. Uh, Somebody said any that, thoughts, oh, sorry. Any thoughts on the Margaritaville resort? I haven't looked at anything about it, but I do want to go and have a look at it. Yeah, it looks like it's cool. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, um, somebody said that Krispy S'more is going to Morocco next week. And I oh, know, that's awesome. I know, I'm so excited. They're doing so much traveling. I wish that we lived in a place that was like that. Right. Where we could just like hop over to Morocco. It'd be so cool. But definitely watch their vids when they come back. They're going to be amazing. Allison says, planning my family's first trip in 2020. And we have been teaching my five-year-old your outro just in case we see you. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, well, hopefully we will see you guys. Do you think you'll ever go to Alani in Hawaii? I was talking to somebody about Alani the other day, and they said, it's so good you won't want to leave. Really? And that scares me because I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. Then we'll live in Alani. Right? That'd be cool. That would be cool. Um, <laughs> Michael says, have you guys ever tried the fried cauliflower at Golden, Out Golden Oak Outpost? It's no. so good. Everybody said it's so good, though. We have to try it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try it. Hello from England. Hello. Uh, and I want to say once we make it through the rest of these super chats, we're going to kind of end out the, blog, the we'll, live blog. We'll answer a couple more from over here. Yeah. But yeah, but then we do have to, we have to run to Target actually. So. Yeah. And I have, I have to go to Best Buy. Oh yeah. We have an appointment at Best Buy. We do. <laughs> um, JM Darren Fail says, hey guys, could I get a shout out to my wife, Taryn? She loves you guys so much. We watch the videos every day. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank and you. shout out to Taryn. That's a lie. Alani is amazing, but it's still just a resort. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, that is good to know. Uh, Mediocre Maker says, my eight-year-old daughter recently started watching your videos with me. That is the moment I realized you guys were the adult version of watching toy unboxing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's Thank funny. you for being family friendly. <laughs> that's amazing. That's Thank awesome. you guys for watching. We appreciate it. I mean, we are so grateful for it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you guys come to Disneyland in California? And we have. We have some, a few um, playlists of it that you should check out if you want. Yeah. It was fun. We loved it. Do you stream on you now? No, we just stick here to YouTube. I feel like this easiest. is, yeah, it's easier here. For us <laughs> yes new vlog from target it's true yes um thank you so much for watching esther we appreciate it i'm headed to target too i'm picking up the new handheld oregon trail what's that like the oh, little i guess so like the football game maybe wow is it time to hashtag fix the yeti oh, well i mean it's been broken for 10 years right why why all of a sudden are people like we need to fix it because he said he was going to fix it who joe Rody. When? D23, I think. I mean, I don't believe it. Yeah. But it'd be cool if it did, but I don't believe it. Um, <laughs> thank you, Lee Thomas. Mark Dent says, can I get a shout out to my wife, Crystal? We are new DVC members. Oh, congratulations. Shout out to Crystal and congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. Added to Alani in May. Man, Ooh. you're going to have so much fun. Negative 40 wind chills in Canada. Shout out to my new hubby, Simon. Hi, Simon. Shout out. Yeah. Thoughts on the new NBA experience? Eh. Not really excited for it. What's, hmm, what is the best burger in Orlando? I think we need to figure that out. I don't yeah. know. I'm I've seen a sure. lot of like lists on what the best one is, but I haven't gone out and tried them all. So. Somebody also said that our podcast should just be called the Tim Tracker podcast because it's simple and like people will know. You oh know, yeah. That's which a good call. It does make sense. Yeah. It'd be uh, cool to have a fun name, but going to Disneyland for my, what did it say? Going to Disneyland for my 25th birthday from Alyssa. Happy birthday. Happy that's going to be so much fun. Uh, thank you, Brandon. Shout out to me. <laughs> thank you, David. <laughs> um, we are not working on a puzzle right now. We finished our puzzle. It was an easy one. Jen, you are a queen. No, thank you, though. I feel like that's not true. You are. <laughs> uh, so somebody says that Teak is the best burger. We've been I there. I don't know. I, I don't like thick burgers. I think that's what my problem is. And I know a lot of people love like those big, thick patties. I don't like that. Yeah. So I didn't really like Teak. But Dang. I know that's just me. Uh, we need to get a puzzle glue and frame them. 
I think that we we have so many po- like we've yeah. done so many. We did save one of the first ones that we did together, um, and that is somewhere. I, I don't. Know. I don't know where it is, but I it is somewhere. I think it's gone. Oh, is it gone? Yeah. Oh. Well, so what we do with our puzzles when we're done is we just give them away. Um, so we'll probably do a giveaway at some point. Not with these though, because these were given to us by some of you guys. But if we buy them, we'll just give them away. Uh, Roger Chang says, "Our daughters Megan and Kaylee love your videos, and they're going to Disney February second for their first time." Ooh, that's awesome! Yeah, I want to say thank you to Lindsay. Ava M. Ann says, "My parents did the Alaskan cruise, and they loved it." Oh, cool! Uh, Lee Thomas says, "Are you the voice at the end of Happily Ever After?" No, no, but that would be awesome. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> Sophia says. Love you guys. Favorite restaurant at Disneyland? It's a good question. I yeah. don't know. It's been I, a while since we've been there. I think for me, it would be um, Carthay. Oh, yeah. That was really good. It was really, really delicious. Uh, Center of Magic says, hey, Jen, if you're doing, if you're going home video after your DLC, I thought I heard you mention that you haven't driven in five years. Did I hear it wrong? No. Yeah, I did say that. Uh, Abby Young, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Beth's burger is wonderful. I have to give it a try. Oh, everybody has talked about Beth's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And she pops up when you um, uh, when you when you look for Beth's burger in Orlando. Beth's burgers is the first thing that pops up every time. Nice. So. Uh, yeah. Cool. I think that I have to go to the bathroom. Oh no. <laughs> so is it okay if we end the the vlog? I think we do have to end it because we need to go run our errands and take care of the baby boo. Okay. Um, yeah. Sweet. Thank you guys for hanging. This was fun. This it was, was like fun. I feel like it was very quick because we were had so much to read, but um, but this was awesome. I'm glad that you guys came and hung out with us for a little bit. Yeah, me too. I had yeah. a good time. I am very sweaty right now for some reason, though. Are you? Yeah, I don't know why. I think <laughs> that's what happens. It's like I get. <laughs> He's nervous. You guys make him nervous. Yeah. But what? um, but thank you guys so much. And we oh, we gotta show them in the vlog. What? Oh yeah. Where's the camera? Sorry. Well, first vlog us though. Okay. Joseph Allen says, "Me and my wife and daughter will be there February twenty second through March, and we hope to run into you guys watching all your videos to keep up the good work." Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> we're doing the live vlog right now. We are, you guys. You're. We're talking to you here, and we're talking to you here. It's it's vlogception <laughs> right now. Here, let me turn it around so you guys can see each other. All right. There it is. This is the ridiculous setup that we have for our live vlog. That's it. Here's everybody in the live chat. Say hi to your past selves. Future self. Oh, future self. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. Show me, show me. Hi, future me. Ta -ta 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 Target. Goodbye. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. We had so much fun with you guys. We really did. Yeah, we really did. Bye. <laughs> thank you, David. Aw, thank you guys for coming and hanging out, though. And we will hopefully have another live vlog soon. Yeah. And um, we're going to try. I'm trying so hard to get back on track with the live shows and with the mail, um, pre-recorded mail vlogs as yeah. well. So just keep be patient with me, though. I am really trying. Stick with us. <laughs> yeah. We're putting out videos as fast as we can. Yeah. So, um, we did announce the winner of the cruise giveaway. I saw some people asking here um, that we did. We Her name was Kate. We will, in, in today's video that we're filming the home vlog, I will put her winning comment in the bottom so you guys can see it. But we contacted her. We replied to her comment. We replied to a like a vlog that she commented on a vlog that was on her channel. Yeah. Um, and we still haven't heard from her. So I think what we'll do in the future is we will do our giveaways on Twitter and on Instagram so that we can actually um, private message you when you win. Right. Because on YouTube, you can't anymore. You just kind of have to wait for them to see it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So in the future, Twitter and Instagram is where we'll do the giveaways. Che says, I'm getting a Disney character leg sleeve opinions. I say do it. Yeah, do it. Sounds good. Opinions yeah. on like what characters you should get? I don't know. Who are your favorite characters? Yeah. I would say... If it were me, I would get like an Aristocats one, but that might not be what you want. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much, and we'll see you soon. Oh, we got one more. Oh. On. oh, Brandon says, shout out to my wife, Sarah, and her book, Death, Rot, Hope, and Love on Amazon Prime. Wow, oh, yeah. That sounds cool. 
Vanessa says, watch you guys every night. My kids love watching you guys. Shout out to the Galus family. Nice. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. We really appreciate it. Yeah, but we are we are leaving now. So we will see you guys soon. We'll see you tomorrow with a home vlog. Thank you guys yeah. so much. And bye, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Bye. Bye. We love you.